Well, now, everybody, I am your host, Lambo Drew. You are now tapped into another edition of The Leverage Show. I'm telling you right now, you do not want to miss tonight because we are definitely going in, definitely going higher, excited about this tonight. You guys got a chance to see Tuesday night. You already know that we went in Tuesday night and got a chance to really make sure that we were pushing you into that right direction and being motivated by the mission. Now, we're literally getting ready to go deep dive in tonight, right in, right behind Tuesday night. You guys don't want to miss this. We're definitely going to be dropping a lot of heat man tonight. And coming from the book of one of my good friends, Coach Rashid, and another book, man, by my guy who right now is going on, Grant Cardone, down at the 10X Conference in florida right now you guys don't want to go ahead and miss it you guys want to tap in you guys want to make sure that we are getting ready to go higher i'm excited about this tonight man i don't know about you but if i knew that the tips the tricks the knowledge and everything else that the leverage show was bringing was able to go ahead and level my life up just a little bit more i would be tapped all in i would make sure I was definitely taking full advantage of all the wonderful knowledge and nuggets being dropped right here on the show. I'm thankful again, man. I'm trying to tell you all this right now. Had an amazing week. And to be able to see where this week is actually heading to and be able to see where we're moving to with this week is just amazing. You guys don't know this, man. But, you know, this week, Lambo, man, has really, really, really got the chance to be able to go ahead and uh, do a lot of great things, right? And I, as much as I was on the move, you know, my body itself was like, hey, Lambo, you need to take a rest at some point as well as you continuously to keep going. Uh, for those who know this was the big week, I usually can tell you guys, man, after traveling for a couple of weeks, man, the week before, uh, I think, what, this week of the 13th, I was actually in Miami, was traveling there uh, for the amazing conference from the Wealth Without Risk Tour, uh, meeting everybody. was down there with Julian Jeremiah, man, shout out to Team Crafted, who I got a chance to talk with earlier today, who they're down there right now at the 10X conference with my guy Grant Cardone and all the rest of the other great speakers, event, emotional uh, emotional leaders. I, I want to call them emotional leaders. I call them emotional sellers, right? If you get down there, if you're ever at that 10X event, you're going to know some emotional sellers. So today I got a chance to even talk with earlier in a part of my day, uh, Team Craft, and kind of see what was going on, the boots on the ground type of action, uh, and really get the chance to hear all of the great things, right? Now, they've been keeping in contact with me, man, each and every day, man, kind of letting me learn or letting me not know, know what's going on. And uh, they got a chance to meet some amazing people, man, who are down there. Shout out that we are literally like connected to some amazing, amazing people. But to hear some of the stories and to hear some of the speakers and hear some of the people, man, who are there, you need this type of networking to be inspired, to be empowered, to be uplifted, to be encouraged, to be moved forward. We all need that extra spunk in our life that actually helps push us to the next level. I get it. And I understand most of the time that you're, you're probably saying to yourself, well, Lambo, I'm a pretty upbeat type of person. I promise you, in points in your life, you're not going to be upbeat 100%. There are going to be times in your life where you're the, the, it's going to get really rough. And what they call is the rubber meets the road. You will get to that place where the rubber meets the road. And that's when it's really going to have to take a different animal in you. It's going to have to take, man, a different drive in you. And that's why we're going to definitely go over some great things. But my friend, man, in Eight Ways to Be Ten Times Better, Coach Rashid, we're going to go over some great things in this book, as well as Grant Cardone, The Ten Times Rule, man. And if you guys know that Ten Times Rule book, man, that's the difference between success and failure. And that is exactly where most people are lying at the difference in success or failure. You have to be able to make sure that you have yourself moving in the right direction, but have the key pieces aligned 
that allows you to move. And that's what Lambo wants to do. I really want to help you guys out continuously moving your journey and making sure that your journey does not look like everybody else's journey. Making sure that your shortcomings do not look like everybody else's shortcomings. Making sure that whatever that you're doing, you're consistently moving the needle forward. And that's what we really want from you. We want to make sure that you are moving the needle forward by any means necessary that's in your life because we really want you to find yourself winning on the right side of this thing. Now, again, I get it. I understand that, you know, we're at the second quarter and I understand that you may not have been motivated enough to start your journey. You may not have been motivated enough to begin to start taking wins. But can I tell you something today? A lot of us have been in that position where we felt unmotivated. We felt lackadaisical. We felt being so relaxed. We felt us not really being able to say that, hey, Lambo, I'm, I'm so enthusiastic or excited about this. I've been there. I know many of you have probably been there as well. But can I say something to you? Our journey and you not being motivated or you being unmotivated, or you being over motivated. And sometimes, man, I can honestly say this, man, you can be over motivated when the beginning starts. But when it really starts to push through and you really are not seeing where you really would love to see the signs you would love to see, are you really motivated then? You have to ask yourself, and this is the question, right? This race, and I'm getting ready to give something to you guys because somebody needs to hear this. This race is not giving to the one who's the most smartest or the most wisest one being out there. This race in life is given to the one and the people who consistently win is the one who have more dog in them. This race is going to go on ahead and come down to your stamina, straight up, your stamina. Have you ever went to a gym? And me and Julie and Jeremiah, we was joking earlier about this. That's so why I can laugh about this. We were talking about Jeremiah could run. He, I mean, he could get out there and run. He could run to his zero turn, turns around and everything, man, and probably run out of gas. Jeremiah's still running, right? Me and Julie both said, you know what? I'm with Lambo. We'll be sitting there watching him run, right? Because we understand from our end and from our side, that being motivated does not always be able to see that you are definitely one of the ones that are saying to yourself, uh, 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 this looks exciting. It doesn't look exciting. Can I say something about your journey? Can I say something about your task? Can I say something about your life? When you go on ahead and mirror your life up to what social media, oh my gosh, look what they're doing on social media. Oh, look what they're doing on TV. Your walk, your journey, all the hell and high water that you're going through, all the battles that you're fighting does not look like the 15 to 30 seconds of a clip of a wonderful life or somebody living their life like it's golden, like you're currently living right now. Doesn't look like that. Oh, well, they were in the islands and they were swimming in the water. Well, you don't know their journey and you don't know how much of that that they probably had to snake their way to probably get to that. But then all of a sudden you see the 15 seconds or you see the 30 seconds and you start feeling that your life is incomplete, that you're at a standstill. Like, oh, Lambo, I should be winning. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. Can I say something to you? And this is the truth. The position I am in right now in my life, I had to work hard to get to this position. I had to work hard. The position where I've even desired to go in, I still have to work even harder for that. And that comes with great responsibility. As many people that you are helping and the great visionary of that Lambo is, the great humanitarian that I am to help people, my vision grows with the vision 
it takes to help the next person. My task grows as it grows, as it takes to help the next person. Can I say something to you? I can honestly tell you why you are in the position that you're in right now, no matter where you're at in life. That's why we can't wait to jump on in this. Shout out to Coach Rashid, who couldn't wait. He says, Lambo, I want you to do this for me. I want you to do this for me. And I said, man, Coach, you say less. And I said, well, Coach, I can only bridge it with two things. I can only bridge it with not just this, but with also Grant Cardone, because you know that we live by this 10X rule. He says, Lambo, it would be an honor. I laughed because I knew the task at hand. I know what this journey feels like when you're unmotivated. Like I literally jumped off a Zoom call, ending it as the credits are rolling. And guys who are closing some of their first seven figure deals, Lambo being connected with them in a group and helping support them. Do you know what that feels like? Do you know what that looks like? They didn't have it all. And, and these guys right now in these groups, right? They just decided to say, hey, we got the know-how. We we know this, and then this one got connected with that one, and that one got connected with this one, and that one got connected with it. Networking. Networking is what put them in position where they currently are at. So when I look at you, I really want to tell you, who is your partner in your fight? Who are you tag team up with? Who is your accountability partner? Who is the person that is talking to you and speaking to you and that is in your ear and you constantly think about it? And you're constantly saying, what would they do? Are they there to motivate me? I needed to text. I needed to drive. I needed to push. Who is there in you ear? You know, in this season in my life, like I understand and, and I get it. There were so many people, man. And I, I, I like not to you, it, it hasn't even been. I look at the start of the year to where I'm at right now. And I looked at so many people. It's like a changing of the guard. And you, you're seeing like, man, this, this group comes in, this group goes out. This, come, this group comes in, this group goes out. But you're there to continuously to keep pouring in to every person that you could possibly meet. And every person that literally that are there for a moment and they're there for special times and that are there for these times, you pour in, you give them their all because you never know how far that person is going to go. You never know how high that they're going to go and the things that they're going to do and the people that they're going to meet and the impact that they're going to make. So I want to make my moments count when I'm around someone, when I speak to someone, when I call someone, when I text someone, when I'm in a group, when I'm in a Zoom Whatever time that I get, it's huge for me to see you guys going to the next level. There was a meeting I had today where a gentleman jumped on, and this is a true call. He jumped on a Zoom call, and we're meeting with the banks. And we originally had went for a lower offer. And I told the gentleman, I just need you to speak about what you do and what your vision is. He said, Lambo, no problem. I can do that. By the time we left off of that Zoom call, meeting with the banks, meeting with the institutions, meeting with these lenders, what he originally went into, they offered him six times more than that. Six times more than that. He's, we're, we're meeting after the Zoom call and he's saying to himself, Lambo, I did not know that they would even do that. You're going to have to break this down to me. You're going to have to explain to me. I said, see, what you didn't understand is that the moment that you begin to speak about your vision, begin to speak about your business, begin to speak about where you're going, begin to speak about the directions, immediately your infancy stage of what you immediately wanted changed. Because people seen the value in your vision. Mm. I got to say that to somebody. When you speak to people, when you talk to people, when you network with people, 
when you are literally talking about the thing that lights you up, the thing that catches fire, the thing that catches your attention, the thing that you can't really sleep about. It's your baby. It's your drive. It's your dream. Does it actually catch enough fire that it literally lights your life so that you can go ahead and share that with somebody else and it alights their life so that they catch fire with your vision and say to you and say to yourself, hey, we have to do something about this. I wanna be a part of this. I can't wait. The gentleman was out there, couldn't wait to go ahead and sign. Hey, I can't wait to go ahead and sign for this little bit. By the time he began to finish sharing his vision, it says, uh, nah, you're going to need something a little bit bigger than this. Let's go. Let's connect you the right connection to get you more money for your vision. Can I say something to you? That gentleman had only been working where we currently are at right now, back and forth, within less than one week. He went from one week of possibly being told no, not having any yeses, not knowing who was in his corner, not knowing what was in his corner, not knowing what he could do or the possibility of what he could do. But he kept going. And then he ran into Lambert. Shout out to wonderful connections that we have and the networking that we do. And I heard about his vision. I heard about what he does. And I said, well, this is only one meeting I can set up. I can set up many more multiple meetings. This is only one meeting I'm going to set up. And after the call today, I didn't even know it. The gentleman had a very he high person next to them. Very high networking individual. Didn't know they were in the room and they were listening to the Zoom call that I was on, he was on, and the other individual was on. And I laughed. Had I went on here, some people want to see how good you are. Let's, let's be real. Let's, let's just be real. They want to see how, how really good is Lambo? How really good is his team? How really good is his network? How really good is it? By the time that was over, after the phone call was done, the individual was actually saying, hey, I wanted to let you know this person was listening in and they're sitting right next to me as you were actually doing this. Lambo, you blew our minds. I was thankful. I was fortunate because I do the same energy, not knowing that the people would be in the same room with each other. I would give the same energy. My mother was in there. My wife was in there. My kids was in there. My family was in there. My friends was in there. I go to bat for you guys. Because I want to see you guys win. I get it. I laughed. I, 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 that tickled me all day that there had another individual of her caliber being next to him while the whole call was going on just to test and see how strong the connections are. And what does Lambo do? Can I tell you something? What is your network? What does it look like? What does your brand look like? Does it speak for itself? Does your vision speak louder than your failures are speaking to you? See, most people, they understand one or two things. Their vision speaks, but their failures scream. Can I say something to you? You will always be haunted by the ability of your failures not coming to pass or things not coming to pass. Don't worry about it. I will get to the chats in a minute. You will always be worried about your visions and things not coming to pass based up off of you looking at a scientific experiment of your life and seeing nothing but failure. I get it. Your life has been filled with ups and downs and filled with valleys and filled with mountains and filled and everything with so much of doubt. I get it. 
I understand it. I've been there. Lambo has been there. But can I say something to you? I decided to pick up a book. Not just this book, but we're using this by example. To pick up a book. To pick up some knowledge. To turn all of my foolishness off of social media and turn everything on I possibly can to help encourage myself and empower me. I'm watching documentary after documentary and I'm watching every single thing I could possibly watch that would actually encourage my life, influence my life, empower my life. And I deep dive into that. I didn't let it go. That was Lambo years ago. Say to myself, I, there's going to be a day that my voice will be heard to so many people. There's a day that my influence and my networking is going to have to go on display, and I have to be ready. I have to be ready to go. I have to be so motivated. I have to be so confident. I have to be so strategic in the things that I'm doing that I'm able to help anybody out in their life or in their situation continuously to keep moving to the next level. Why I thought that the best investment would be in me rather than investing in a big screen TV or investing in a car or investing in something that had limited value to it, I knew that books and research and getting and finding the right mentor would help change my life. That is where we got all of this great connection. That's why we have all of this great inspiration. That's where we have all of this great movement that we're moving and moving into the right direction with the people that we're moving into the right direction with because we are designed, designed to help. I get it, I understand. Your journey looks a lot more, less exciting. Now that you've taken a few blows, you've taken a few L's, you've taken a few things that literally has lost the spark or that once twinkle that was in your eye about your vision. Yeah, I understand it. I get it. I know for a fact that, you know, Lambo, I, I come to watch the Leverage Show each and every single week to hear a word, to get inspired, to do some great things. This week was scheduled to supposed to be with two awesome guests, both to yesterday, uh, Tuesday and today. But I found the biggest need to speak to you guys. Lambo, it's the leverage show. I can reschedule. But can you reschedule your life? Can you reschedule your destiny? Can you reschedule your dreams? Can I say something to you? One of the greatest books or even passages that I got to read. My wife told me over 20 some years ago, it's called a dream deferred. If you've never read that, I suggest that anyone reads that. I don't want anyone in this life, in this passage, to be able to say to themselves, I tried everything I possibly could do. The dream just didn't come to pass. I didn't give it my all. See, the thing about it is, is that you will go all in. You will go 100% on everybody else's vision. When are you going to go 100% on your vision? When are you going to really bet on yourself? When are you really going to roll the dice? No matter how many times you're going to have to keep rolling. Yeah, you may crap out. Yeah, you, you may literally lose and suffer so many losses. The losses may be coming so insurmountable and you can't even find your way of even getting out of the losses. 
But can I say something to you out there? When you see those losses, keep fighting. Those losses allow you to be able to take what life is giving you and take the blows and take all the punches and take all the, the down times that are there to take the air out of you. They're there to really go ahead and stop your growth. That's what those down times are. That's what those times are in your life. They're there to try to take that out of you. But don't you stop. Don't you quit. Stay motivated. It's time for you to start talking back louder than the failure has been talking to you. We're going to go through this today. Because I really desire for you to be better. I desire for your business to be better. I desire for your, your job to be better. I desire for your relationship to be better. I desire for your family to be better. I desire for your friends to be better. I desire for your networking to be better. But what do you desire to be better? It will get better. It just maybe not get better. It will get better. You have to keep saying it to yourself with affirmations. What words are you speaking outside of the praying and outside of you actually saying things out of your mouth? What is getting better in your life? How are you getting better? Are you speaking more better? Than you're actually speaking bitter. I could say to myself, and it's, this would be so much of truth. Uh, I, I suffered all these losses in my life. I think I just lay down. I can't. There's something driving me to make sure that I'm in your face, that I'm in your ear, that I'm in your way. a nice sign as a representation that you will make it. Not only are you going to make it, you're going to thrive. I'm here for you. I get it. I understand it. Nobody has been there for you. You've had so many other people who have let you down, so many other people who dropped the ball, so many other people who've come up short. You're saying to yourself, ramble. Uh, I don't know if I can trust that again. I don't know if I can trust myself again. I don't know if I can trust my dream again. I don't know if I can trust my vision again. You got it. Try it one more time again. Try it one more time again. It did. Definitely, it discourages you when you actually see yourself going through the motion and seeing no results. It discourages you. I get it. I understand the discouragement that comes behind that. Not seeing the fruit of your labor, not seeing the fruit of you actually getting and putting it in and grinding and making sure you see things happen. I get it. But don't stay there. I've been where you've been. I understand that it has been tough. It has been rough. I understand that you suffered so many tragic losses in your life that has left you crippled. But can I say something to you? What have you deposited inside of you that when that day came, when that trauma came, when that tragic moment came, when that testing period came in your life that helped push you past all of that pain that you would be facing. What deposits did you make? How much practicing did you do before you got in that dogfight? 
No boxer just ever just jumps inside of a ring when they announce a fight for him and another boxer. No, what there is is there's a training period that is leading up to that. So that that boxer has mastered its opponent. It has went through the stamina test to increase their stamina. They have went through the test of what it causes for them to be a champion. They got with that trainer. They got with the times that they didn't want to train. They started changing up their diet. They started changing up their eating. They changed up so much stuff because they knew what was on the line. There's a championship that's on the line for you. There's a championship that's waiting for you. There's a championship that's waiting to crown you king or queen. But what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? When will you decide to win? You can go ahead and hashtag that. When will you decide to win? Man, boy, I've, I've been trying. I, I, I really have, but I'm, I'm, I got all of this stuff. You don't know my plate. You want to talk about plates? When I, when I, when I go back and I look at it, that adversity list. And I look at these list of all of these great billionaires that who are in our country and who are right here. Not We even got to talk about overseas. We can talk about right here. It's in the United States. And I hear some of their stories and I see that they were some of the most loneliest of people that stayed committed to their crafts that seen failure after failure after failure after failure and denied to be denied until they made it, until they went on ahead and cemented their feet in society that became a life-changing doorway for many others who were following right behind. What are you doing? Where are you going? What steps are you taking that continuously drives you and motivate you to keep moving towards that next level. Today, we're gonna to talk about it. Today, we are getting ready to continuously to keep the fire in the flame lit to you and lit to your dreams and lit to your vision and lit to your future because somebody has to do it. And it might as well be Lambo. Because guess what? Lambo has been down there in the trenches with you. I've been down there in the fight with you. I've been in your lowest of valleys, whispering in your ear, telling you to get up. Let's keep going. Keep fighting. There's more to your story than where you currently are. There's more to your story than you truly believe. There's more to your story than you truly have went on ahead and put a period at the end of it, not knowing that guess what? Add you a comma and let's keep rolling. We got work to do. You've got work to do. There is a dream. There is a vision. There is a hope that is out there waiting just for you. And tonight, we're going to go into that. We're going to go into helping you with a strategy between my guy Grant Cardone and my good friend, Coach Rashid Hill, and show you how to go on ahead from being bitter to being better in 10 times in your life. That way, you can go on ahead and catch victory inside of your fight. Well, I want to say this. You guys all should know, I'm gonna make sure that you get this book because this is huge. This book is huge. If you guys don't have it yet, Eight Ways to Be 10 Times Better, my guy, Coach Rashid, we are definitely tapping in. 
One of the chapters begins like this. What brought you to your current space you occupy in life today? Was there something that piqued your interest a long time ago and convinced you that this was your dream or a mission in life? Are you the same person you were interested in high school? Are you working the job that you were interested in college with? Did you start your business that you were interested in starting? Did you ask yourself, are you having the success in life, career or business that you expected, why or why not? Listen, when I listen to this, that is the very start of this book. But there are some key things that I wanna highlight in this book because I want you to understand how you can take these keys and allow yourself to continue to keep moving forward. This comes from the chapter, Breakthrough. It's a matter of motivation. What did we just talk about Tuesday? This goes hand in hand what we talked about Tuesday. Step up and break through. As this rings in my ear for my last seminar, it does make me think about the leaders today and what sets the great apart from the good. They dare to set a new standard. This, I understand, helps them take root into the hearts of the seekers of incredible success. Most will not say they knew the level of success they're going to obtain because for some reason they were shortchanged. We limit our vision to about five years. Yet we're practicing the rule of the game and go beyond what we initially believed we could accomplish. When we settle in and live in the principles of greatness, anticipating our next massive action toward a determined outcome, we can do practically anything. Can I say something to you? Lambo didn't write that. Coach Rashid Hill wrote that. See, some of us, we just, I can tell you this right now. We, we almost are talking the same thing. This is in his book. Because we live this lifestyle each and every day. We live this lifestyle each and every single day. It is embedded inside of us. When I look over my shoulder and I see Kobe Bryant, I look at what he kept inspiring to do, and that was to be great. He inspired to keep being great, to keep doing some amazing things. And he kept doing it, and he kept doing it, and he kept doing it. He went down. It's one of the greatest Laker players. Stay committed, stay faithful, stay focused, didn't switch team, did not switch sides to that Lakers uniform. 20 years put in the work, played through adversity, played through so much drama within inside of the organization, within inside of teammates, within inside of so many other things, wanting to even leave to go play for his mentor, the great Michael Jordan in the Chicago Bulls at one point. So they had to stop him and say, you know what? Nah, you can't go anywhere. You are chasing greatness and we understand it. Whatever we have to do to keep you here, we will make it work. We will move everybody out the way to make sure that you or the biggest added value and key component that allows us to maintain the standard of what a champion really looks like. 
when you pick up the phone or when you send a text or when you talk to somebody, do they see the standard in you? Do they see the value in you? Do they see the person that can really add so much value to their lives that they can't wait to be able to pick up the phone anytime their phone rings? I know many of us probably don't want to hear this, but here it goes because you're on the leverage show. If you are not getting the value that you need, you need to become the value that you are seeking for. If you are not getting the value that you need, you need to become the value that you are seeking after. You should not stop until you understand what it is or who it is that you are desired to become, what it is that your purpose, your life, and everything else that is designed for your life to win. You need to go make sure that you're finding that, dominating in that arena, and helping more people out. That is a key for you to live in your life eight times better, ten times better. Change. I love this. This I got to this point. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta hear this out. And I'm gonna do a little reading. So just stay sick, stick tight. You can't find your way out of your current situation, out of your familiar zone. If you wanted it bad enough, you would find a way to change to get determination. You don't want to leave the steady job because we're conditioned to feel the security of realizing someone else's dream instead of our very own. You talk about doing something with your life. Mm. Huh, this is good. Yet you continue to keep going to your nine to five, your eight to four, your six to two, or your graveyard shift. Because it will be put in the grave with you. Without taking action, steps to create a feasible plan B, you can do it. You can do it, my friend. You have to become committed, determined, driven to succeed. Many people are interested in changing, yet they don't really want to change anything. Let me tell you something. Change is not a matter of ability. It is a matter of motivation. Boy, this is Coach Rashid Hill. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, you lighten this one up, man. Think about it. If someone after working night shift, missing family time, like t-ball games, football games, basketball games, baby first steps, little girls cheerleadings, and so on for years and years and years, if they said, I have to do something to spend more time with my family, what do you think would be the first option that would come to mind? They would ask the manager for a better shift in hopes to make it to one of the ball games, cheerleading costumes, or even get the baby's first step. Yet two years later, they are still working the same graveyard shift. Miss two more years of your child's life because when you get off work, they're at school. And when you come home, you're at work. What motivates you enough to make a real change, to upgrade your lifestyle, to do what you what really makes you want to do for your family to make you happy. Do you have a compelling reason to shift your way of thinking? Yes, you do. Yet you have never explored it. You look at your spouse and your children and you ask yourself, when was the last time I saw my family, spent quality time with my family or play with my children? Would you like to wake up 
and have breakfast after the sun comes up. Enjoying breakfast with your spouse and your children while being relaxed and not rushing for a change. Listen, my friend, this is your purpose for striving harder to take care of your family. You need to generate the right mental attitude. The great Oprah Winfrey once quotes, the greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his or her future by merely changing their attitudes. I get it. It may be heavy for you right now. You're like Lambo. You're lighting me up. I'm lighting you up because I really want to see you win. I desire to see you win. I really want to make sure that when you leave these broadcasts, that you're so motivated, you're so pumped up, you're so focused, you're so driven that you know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, you are moving in the right direction into your purpose. Next one, you're a trendsetter. Fast forward 20 years later into the future and your good habits have paid off. Now your honor, your enterprise are pleased and things are running smoothly and positively affecting so many lives. As we grow from reading the oh so valuable stories that have been pillars in someone else's life, I found one of the most consistent ideas that run between many of the entrepreneurs that I've studied. They consistently rise up early to get a jump start on the world. You may ask yourself, what does rising up early before 5 a.m. have to do with success? The first thing that you might look at is at the victory. My father always encouraged me to rise early. All day long, you should focus on your victories of the day instead of your defeats. When someone cuts you off while you're driving, when someone came running to you with a rumor about you or had a rude customer and so on and so on, you can choose to focus on positive things when you are driving to work or you can just react poorly. It is your choice. You have to make a decision. See, being a trendsetter is being able to say to yourself, you know what, Lambo, you're right. I have been lawful. I have been really slowful. I haven't really been even waking up early in the morning. I've been getting those extra hours of sleep because I just need it. Or, or I've been working and waking up for everyone else but except for waking up for myself to better myself, to empower myself. Yeah, I know. I know you're like, man, but I'm not no trendsetter. Yes, you are. There are so many people who are connected to you. There's so many people who are driven to you. There's so many people who are designed just to hear your voice, just to hear your hello, just to hear your laugh, just to hear your motivation. There's so many people who are designed just for you, but you have to realize it. And it's going to take you doing something different that you have never seen before. And it's going to take you to have to do something different that you are willing to make the sacrifice to change what you've been currently doing so you can get to a whole new level than where you have currently been at this point in your life. Number three. One of the greatest acts of mankind, I tell anybody now, screaming to the top of my lungs, the greatest act, and one of the greatest acts of mankind is to inspire. Some people are reading this, and the first thing that comes to mind is what is he talking about, sea level? Well, this is surely what attracted me to this first time I read it. Yet I had a flood of meaning that accompanied the curiosity that led me back to reading this. 
I was enjoying a book titled Practical Action Tips for Go-Getters by a profound entrepreneur, Patrick Jackson. And as I read his book, I was drawn to so many great tips, yet most of all, this one stood out to me. So when I read it, live at sea level, S-E-E -E level, not S-E-A, S-E-E, -E, seeing with your own lies. I instantly exclaimed, this is outstanding. This is perfect for my coaching practice. I was immediately taken to begin extra point made deeper meanings from that on the other order to expand and contribute to my commitment to showing people how to become 10 times better in all areas of their life. Can I say something to you? Sea level. You guys have never heard that. That is, that is probably one of the most amazing analogies I have heard as well. Coach, I'm 100% with you on this. I'm only going to read a couple more. When you find out things, you're inspiring and you're moving into the area that really helps push you into this next level. I can say something to you today. C-Level helps encourage you to become a better you, but it shows you the areas that you may have missed. You may have missed a mark on you really dominating and becoming better in those areas of your life. Seeing it from a bird's eye view or seeing it at the level where most people would actually walk around from seeing that level. I get it. I understand. I have been at that level and dominating at that level for so many years. I want to see you dominating at that level. Whatever it is in your life, you can improve. As the chapter goes on, it says, faith is the first step. So live above sea level. Did you know it is through creative imagination that you energize your hidden talents, which are poised as potential within you? Our ideas, our dreams rust away with the lack of proper exercise. Just like a runner will lose his leg strength if he doesn't exercise them, we will lose our ability to clearly dream and visualize what we desire most as we grow into teens and in adults. It is a wonder how we see so many things are expensive. Can I say something to you? What has the value of what you've seen changed the way you have been motivated to be able to have what you have seen? What has become impressive to you? What lifestyle, what dream, what hope, what vision? What has become impressive to you? I really would love to know. I really would love to hear. I wish I could hear all of your decisions and your thoughts and all of your things that really would muster up in your lips when you think about that. Like, Lambo, there's a there's a house I want. There's a there's a place I want. There's this I want. There's that I want. What has inspired you to go get it? You know, I got a chance. For those who do know, when I was down there in Atlanta just a week or so ago with the family, we got a chance to, you guys know, make it to Steve Harvey's house. Amazing house. Beautiful house. Can I say something to you? The house was so immaculate. Not excluding everything else that he went through. 
but it was immaculate because he seen it in his dreams. He seen it in his vision. He seen it in his goals. What have you seen in front of you that has literally inspired you? Can I say something to you? You know, with the same breath, a lot of people don't know this, that that the house that we bought, and I told y'all, I even showed y'all even on here, on that video when we got back, that Steve had an actual scripture outside of his house, if you ever go to Atlanta. And, and that scripture just like rings up to me because I'm just, I'm thinking to myself, he literally had a scripture out front of something that he could actually take face value that he was actually seeing and saying to himself, God, I thank you for this. I ain't gonna forget about you when I get there. I'm not gonna tell people, I'm not gonna tell people it was something else that got me there. No, I'm gonna tell people it was you, but I'm gonna inspire so many people along the way. I'm so thankful that when I got there, I got a chance to see Steve Harvey's house. I rode by that sucker and I told y'all this about four or five times. My wife could tell you, like my husband is not stopping until he actually gets there. And the scripture that he had out front was James 1 and 17. For every good and perfect gift comes down from the father of heavenly lights. When I read books like this, from my guy Coach Rashid, I'm inspired by so many people. I'm inspired about their dreams and I'm inspired about their visions and I'm inspired about everything that drove them to the place that they wouldn't give up. Can I say something to you? After we left, that place. We instantly went to Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. If you guys never got a chance to see that, you guys got to go. You got to go see Tyler Perry Studios. I'm telling y'all what I know. Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta is probably the most amazing thing you have ever seen. Just the, once the moment that you get there and to step your foot on the ground that they have is amazing. I'm not, I can't even lie to y'all. It it's probably was one of the most breathtaking things I did, and I made sure, because I wanted my daughter, my littlest one, who loves Tyler Perry, I wanted her to see it. And we kept it as a surprise for her to see it. And as we got off on the exit to see Tyler Perry Studios on there, knowing what he went through to get to where he is today and make the bridge from so many people behind him to actually go right on ahead and cross over that bridge for so many people who may have got overlooked in Hollywood for so many years or may was even underpaid in Hollywood for so many years. He was able to be the bridge because of his vision to help bless and change their lives. Can I say something to you today? I remember looking over those grounds what once used to be an old military base out there in Atlanta and how he transformed that. You see the vision of people being able to go to work every day to provide for their families and release and flow into their dreams and into their gifts. When Coach Rashid talked about his chapter of Inspire, what inspires you? What inspires you? What really drives you? Who drives you to continue to keep moving forward? Can I say something to you today that most people, man, may not know? This is the God honest truth. Most people never knew the story or the backstory. What inspired Tyler Perry? 
when you looked at everything that he went through, he didn't have it rough. Not just that, he came from my own stomping grounds in New Orleans. But when I see him got dishonored by his city, he says, I, I got to keep going. Even if I got to leave, I love y'all, but I got to keep going. There's something out there more. He wind up moving to Georgia, moved to Atlanta, was still living homeless, you guys. Living in places, trying to follow his dreams, not giving up, holding on to the very thing that he knew. I can't let this go. If I stop now in the fight, where am I going to end up? What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? You have to ask yourself, if you stop now in your fight, where are you going to do? Where are you going to go? What new levels, what new doors are going to open up for your life? I don't even know why I'm saying this, but I'm getting ready to say something to somebody. Your next level may require you to leave some things, some people, some places behind. You may not be willing to go ahead and accept it. You may not be willing that you've been fighting with it. You've been fighting over and over with this decision. You've been fighting over and over. How is this thing going to pass? How is this going to be a good look to me? On one hand, I want to fight to keep. On the other hand, I need to let go. Can't tell you. I don't know. I don't know who you are tonight. I don't know who this is for tonight. But after you have prayed about it, and after God has given you peace about it, you need to let go and let God. You've been holding on long enough. But you need to let go and let God. My job and my mission when I get out here, man, each and every single broadcast is to make sure that you get everything you need to continue your journey. Because your journey is the most important place that there are people designed and connected to you that are only designed just for you. There are doors that only you can walk into. Can I say something to you? This is a true story. Uh, me and my wife and my kids, we got a chance to go in San Diego uh, in September, right? We got a chance to, we're out in California. We're in there in California. And I, I remember this like yesterday, right? It seems like almost yesterday. And uh, we're meeting with Coach Rashid. And I'll never forget Coach Rashid had us in the middle of a car chase, in the middle of police running on a Sunday because of the place where he wanted to meet. So we got a chance to get a little action, right? We got a chance just to be able to get a little action in there. But when I sat down with Coach, this is me and Coach second time, face to face. A uh, third time, technically third time, third time, face to face. We're talking with each other. And because uh, me and Coach had met three times that year. We met in March, the end of March. We met in June uh, for the Amsterdam event and in September. And I told Coach, true story. I said, Coach, um, brother, I feel that you need to be on this particular program that we were at. We were speaking at an event. And Coach said, well, well Lambo, I, I never got it. I said, don't worry about it. You need to be there. You need to be there. That September talk opened the door for Coach. After that, after I had that, that talk with him, I said, Coach, this is man to man. This is how we roll. I'm having you there. He was on the event speaking first weekend in December in D.C. for the Core 4 event. Bringing so much value to people. Bringing so much value to lives. Bringing his team there so that they can actually get poured into. So they can continuously get fed off of a stream of a surplus 
of some great teaching and great individuals who were there networking in that room. I look back at that day as the next day as, as we're talking, right? The next day, uh, most people had to went home and it's that Sunday and me, my wife and coach, Brandon and all the rest of them and, and a lot of other people and stuff like that, man, were there and we're all, we're just a few of us, we're stranded around, we're sitting there talking. And the seat coach to the left of me, well, at that point to the right of me on the table, next to my wife and him and my wife laughing, joking with each other, talking about eating well and some other amazing things. That was just because I knew the character, the integrity, the wisdom, not just all, but a friend, the mentor that this man is to so many people, needed to be on full display. When he bought in that room that day, a lot of people were just sitting back like, oh, my gosh, I did not know Coach was going to bring it like that. I, that is Coach Rashid Hill. That man, that brother, that friend, I'm so excited to be doing life with. So I'm excited to have him in my circle, to be able to talk about some of the great things and talk about the lows, the highs, the valleys. And me and him, we can talk about things off the script and be like, hey, as leaders, this is how we feel. And coach, you, you better get ready because we're going to be talking for some time. And he'd be like, Lambo, I, I feel the same way. And we're laughing at it. Because as leaders, who can leaders really go to? You and your journey, who can you really go to that really understands you? Some of you are next to spouses or in relationships or in business partnerships that don't understand you. What is your outlet? What are you motivated and inspired by? Who inspires you? I can say this. When I look through the footprints of this book, And I get down to these principles. Number four, actually being mastery. You want to make sure you get your copy to be able to live by a mentor who is actually being able to not just write words in the book that entertains you or that makes a little pleasing style to your ear, but something that empowers you, it equips you, it ignites you. The fourth key mastery. The past does not equal your future unless you live there. People are looking backward in the past instead of forward into their future. Don't guide your life by the past. What's gone is gone. You can change. If you can't, you must. Most people are so focused, and I get it. I understand. You're focused on what you're going to do. But I remember how it once was. The relationship, uh, they, they once used to say this and they once used to do this and they, they once used to be this way and the business relationship used to do this. And back in the day, I used to do this and I was the man and I was the woman and I was doing all of these great things. And you're basing your future and where you currently are off of past memories that have yet been sailed away. My question to you, my sister, my question to you, my brother, what are you doing today? What are you doing right now at this very moment? 
How are you making new victories? How are you making new wins in your life? How are you making new monuments that glorify your hard work and your efforts that you have put into becoming a better you so that somebody else will become a better them because you did it to help a team of people around you. I understand. This is not what you want to hear like Lambo. I did not come on, on here on this show to hear you come and talk about me and tell me about all the past victories that I was doing back in the day. And I was really winning and I thought I was winning. and I thought I was doing it big. And, and now all of a sudden I'm feeling more down than where I'm at. Can I tell you something? If you master it one part of your life, you can duplicate it and master it right now in your now season. Nothing has stopped you from winning except you. You have put the limitations on what you allow to call wins in your life. And I get it. Maybe the wins are not as significant as you thought you've seen in your past. But that right there connects us all. Maybe Lambo in the past had wins look like they were home runs, grand slams. Everybody is out there cheering. But what happens when everybody leaves out of your corner? What happens when all the fans leave the baseball, the football game, the basketball game? They go back home. You're stuck there on an empty field. When the lights go out when the band has played its last tune and has went and made it left field. They packed up all the tubas, they packed up all the drums. For my daughter, if she's listening, Bucky, they packed up all the violins. <laughs> they packed up all their musical instruments and they've already left outside of the stadium. Now you sit there on the field alone wishing you had ran the extra plays, wishing that you had made the extra plays, wishing that the notoriety when the lights were on and the attention was on you, you were able to make the decisions that made the people say, ooh, and ah, and oh, look at them. What happens when you're in the abyss of your aloneness? When it's no longer for the applause of the people, when it's no longer for the sounds of the band, when no one's cheering your name out. What master comes out of you then? I say this all the time. What you master in private, you become a master in public. In. And what you manipulate in public, you become even a bigger master in private. That's going to take some time to sink in for a lot of you. Because a lot of you have been faking the funk and manipulating in front of so many people. You have not even worked on your craft. You have not got the art of mastery down inside of you. But yet to everyone else, you have a live for the applause. Shout out to my guy T.I. for saying, if you live for the applause of man, you'll die by the booze. Waiting to hear people pump you up as you're some sort of superpower action hero. You're the person who is the next goat out on the field or on the court, whatever that you're playing in. But all alone, you've been missing the valuable key pieces. Working on your craft. Mastering your craft working on the things that allow you to become the more efficient you so that you can continuously to keep inspiring, keep leading, and keep empowering others. What are you mastering today? Has it mastered you yet? Can I say something to you? Some people are always saying to myself, oh man, you know, I'm stuck at the same level. I don't know why, what's gonna change? Why is it gonna change? 
Evidently, you haven't passed the test yet. Pass the test to get to the next level. Pass the test to get to your next zone. Pass the test to get to your next amazing blessing that is awaiting just for you to take a hold and grab onto. So you will be living in your dreams and never desiring to keep only being the master of your wants. Become a master of your dreams today. I'm telling you, that's only four chapters in this book. Only four. I'm not going to read the other fifth, six, seven, and eight. Because I want you to go get the book. Go finish it. I'll tell you what they are. I know you guys want to listen. I know you got. You can't wait to hear. You're like, Lambo, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, which number five? Which number six? Which number seven? Number five, mentor. I'm huge on that. You guys know that. I'm huge on that. Number six, anticipate. Mm. Number seven, power. Number eight, servant leader. I won't ruin it. Because the excitement when I read those other chapters, bless my life. Go get this book today. Eight Ways to Be Ten Times Better by Rashid Hill. You can order it on Amazon. You can order it in your bookstores. You can order it today, but not only order it, make sure that you be blessed and take a part of reading every last chapter down to the T. You know... I want to read one more thing in here before I close this book up. I want to see you guys go get it. I want to see you guys take advantage of this. This is good. I want to see you guys read this. Here we go. Throughout history has been proven over and over again. The Wright brothers, Ben Franklin, Bill Gates, Michael Jordan, Alex Haley, Eric Thompson, and yes, most certainly Anthony Robbins. When the masses counted them out, or it seemed like a bad decision at the time, by the onlookers without vision, these guys stepped up and stepped out into their vision of a greater future for themselves and humanity. There was then a time when one of my favorite celebrities fell to ground zero. You may know him as Steve Harvey. He did an interview in a national magazine recently and explained one of his principles like this, bounce back from failure in May of 2005. Steve Harvey had zero income his recent TV show, The Steve Harvey Big Time Challenge, had been canceled. And he had no comedy tour date scheduled. But instead of letting his dream die, he turned the highest paying DJing job in the country and used his passion and drive to create a radio show he owned outright. You may fail, but you are not a failure. If you're learning, when you learn, you grow. That's how it's done. I don't care how many times you have to keep getting up. If you stay down, it's over. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Shake the naysayers off. Quit talking to the haters. They have nothing to do with your future. They don't know your plan and what it is, explains Steve Harvey. Can I say something to you right now? 
You have to learn to be able to adapt after the biggest and the worst things in your life that comes to stop you. I tell people in this life, I say you're either one or two things. You're either only up or getting up. Don't you stay down on that mat. Wherever life brings you, you're either two places in your life. Well, Lambo, I feel like I want to lay down and die. No, 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 no. You are either up or getting up. That's the only position that you will ever be in your life. It says, Lambo, are you kidding me? You had the same tenacity when you were driving the bus. You had the same tenacity when you were in your past employment and, and previous experiences. I did. I had the same one. The same one. Same tenacity. Talking to myself. Encouraging myself. Telling myself that something has got to change. And I didn't give up. I didn't give in. I kept going. I found a way to maximize every part of me and become 10 times better. Just like coach. 10 times better. Thank you, Coach Rasheed. I get that. I understand most of you, you guys are like, man, Lambo, I, I can't wait. I can't even believe that you even said that that coach was that deep. Yes. Guess what? I still have more for you. I told y'all this was Coach Rasheed and Grant Cardone, but I'm getting ready to go fast with Grant. I really wanted to expound with coach. I'm getting ready to give you quite a few of the best 10 times quotes by my guy, Grant Cardone, that really will help change your life. Don't be confused of what it looks like luck to you. Lucky people don't make successful people. People who completely commit themselves to success seem to get lucky in life. Number two, the moment you start thinking someone else's gain is your loss, you limit yourself by thinking in terms of competition and shortages. Number three, do kids benefit when they see their moms and dads losing or quitting? Number four, average is a failing plan. I hate average. People don't know. People don't know. I, I'm very like tough on my kids when it comes to grades. Like you can't bring me a C. You you just can't. There's no way for you to bring me a C and think that Lambo is cool with a C. Like, I, I just, I won't get it. Are you, you bring me a C, that's average. What my child has told me is, is that I have put the average effort into this class. Oh, well, this is hard. No, 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 no. You bought me average. You're in above average. I need for you to hear that. Average is a failing plan. Some of y'all need to write that down on everything you got. Average doesn't work in any area of life. Anything that you give only average amounts of attention will start to subside and will eventually cease to exist. Getting ready to go here with this one. I don't care. It's Lambo. You on the show? Giving average is like almost giving average in your love life. 
You give average in your love life, what do you expect to give back out of relationships? Average. Or probably below than average. Because they're either going to meet you with the same energy or less than standard energy for that. So if you want to be above average in your business relationships, your networking relationships, your business, your vision, and everything that you do, you want to make sure you are excelling at the highest level. Like you're right, Lambo, you're right. I'm not excelling. I'm not opening myself up for those new ideas. I'm not networking. I'm not partnering. I'm not doing the things that I need to do that does not produce average results. Didn't mean to stay on that one. My bad. Number five, never take the position that things just happen to you. Rather, they happen because of something you did or you did not do. Straight up. Number six, in order to get to the next level of whatever you're doing, you must think and act in a widely different way than you have previously been. You cannot get to the next phase of a project without a grander mindset, more acceleration and extra horsepower. Number seven. Oh boy, I love this. I love this. I suggest that you become obsessed about the things you want. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lifetime being obsessed with making up excuses as to why you didn't get the life you wanted. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm coming down your alley right now. If it's your boulevard today, this is your boulevard. I'm pulling up to your driveway, ringing your doorbell. The moment you open it up, I'm sucker punching you in the mouth. Someone needs to hear this. I'm reading that one one more time. I suggest that you become obsessed about the things you want, not the things that you, oh, maybe this, I mean, no, the things you want. You need to come obsessed behind that. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lifetime being obsessed with making up excuses as to why you did not get the life you wanted. I didn't get the life I wanted because, you know, the kids were doing this. I had this job and I was working all this overtime and I was trying to provide bills and I was doing all this and I was so tired at the end of the day and I was, oh, I'm pointing you in your mouth now. No disrespect. Some of you need a chin check. Some of you need that. Again, the, the, the moment that you get punched in the mouth, you understand that this life is real. It's real game. It's fair game now at this point. Somebody come up to you and point you in your mouth, you better be getting ready to square up. You getting ready to go on ahead, man, and light a person up and somebody points you in the mouth. Straight up. I don't care who you are. You better learn to defend yourself or defend the people that you love. So why are you allowing life to point you in the mouth and you sit there and take it and not do anything about it? Eh, they just chin check me. They just jaw jack you and you ain't do a thing about it. But you will make up so many excuses why you are not living the lifestyle that you are supposed to be living. We're not getting ready to do this a lifetime. I'm not getting ready to see or give up on you. And five years later or 10 years later or 20 years later, you come to Lambo and you see me out and I'm in my purpose and I'm in my vision and I'm in my drive and you see me and my family and I can't wait to see what you have done and you give me a bunch of excuses of why you could not get to that next level. This is the day that you go ahead on the defense and you begin to say, you know what? From the defense, I'm going on offense. I'm fighting back today. You're right. I got to become obsessed with the life I want or I know for a fact I'm going to spend a lifetime making up excuses because I didn't get the life that I wanted. We're not having that. Number eight, realistic thinking 
is based on what others think it is possible. But they are not you and have no way of knowing your potential and purpose. Number nine, treating success is an option. It is one of the major reasons why more people don't create it for themselves and why most people don't even get close to living up to their full potential. Most people are going to be that way. I'm going I'm to keep it one I'm keeping 100 with you. Most people will be that way. Success is an option. Boy, this this one right here. Yeah. I only wanted to do 90 minutes of this. So, I got one more for y'all. I only really wanted to do 90 minutes. Don't worry about it. I'll get to the comments in a minute. So people are going to be that way. Uh, you know, success is just an option. I really don't want uh, 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 no, 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 no. Success is not an option. Your lifestyle is not an option. There are so many people who are tied to you. They are not living like an option. Number 10, this is the last one. I won't light you up too much. I lit you up enough with Coach Rashid Hill. That's why you got to get the book. Number one, I mean, number 10, all the excuses in the world won't change one simple fact that fear is a sign to do whatever it is you fear and do it quickly. What do you fear? What have you feared? What are you most scared of? Why are you so scared of failing? Fear is false evidence appearing real. I just read to you 10 quotes from Grant Cardone of 10 times, 10 times quotes, the 10X rule, actually. And I wrote to you and I read to you, Coach Rashid Hill, eight ways to be 10 times better. You mix those two books together, the Grant Cardone 10X Rule and Coach Rashid Hill's Eight Ways to Be 10 Times Better. I promise you there won't be a thing on this side of the earth you won't be able to accomplish and motivating yourself to push you to the next level. Listen, I really wanted to thank you guys for that today. Thank you guys for allowing me to be able to Read one of my good friends, Coach Rashid, his book of Eight Ways to Be Ten Times Better, and reading some wonderful quotes out of it. Again, you got to go get it. I only read half because I really wanted to see you go read the other half to make sure that you can really deep dive into some of those nuggets that he is actually putting out there. You can go get this book. It is available on Amazon. Go get it. I'm telling you what, right now, he's even as cooler than a fan on the back. Look at him. Yep, that's him. He's that. That's my guy. He's that whale leader. He's eating those sharks out here. That's what we are about here to help empower in each other. Those two books, if you go ahead and you dominate by reading those two books, I promise you, your whole life is going to shift. Your whole life is going to change. You will come back and thank me later that you sit back up in here and got the book. Let's see who's in the chat tonight, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My wife is in the chat. Shout out to you and everything, man, baby. Thank you for all that you do for showing so much love, man. My, my my little baby, Kyan, is in the chat. Shout out to you, Kai Pye. Good to see you, man, in here, man. Jeremiah is in the building. Lambo's Pink is in the house. Yes, it is. Shout out to Team Craft and being out there really killing it and doing what they're doing at the 10X Conference in Florida with my guy, Grant Cardone. Like I said, this lined up for a great night with my guy, Rashid Hill, uh, Eight Ways to Be Ten Times Better, as well as me reading from the 10X rule of Mr. Grant Cardone himself as well. Those two combined together will live you a lifestyle that will help change and blow your mind. Shout out to Team Crafton who is down there, who is killing it right now and doing some amazing things. My guy, then Anthony Deloach is in the building. What's up, Leverage Show family? What's up, Anthony Deloach? You guys make sure you guys go like and subscribe to my guy, Anthony Deloach's channel, who is making some major great process. I'm telling you what I know is some amazing things that you do not want to know. Money is in the building. Shout out to your money, man. Thank you for definitely tapping in, man. Mighty E is in the building. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thank you, Mighty E, for definitely tapping in. I truly thank you. Hello, family. Great uh, getting all the great nuggets from my mentor. Shout out to you, QDP. 
Thank you for tapping in. Appreciate you, man, for that, man. My baby says, welcome, Leverage Show family. Showing love, man, to everybody. Blue Sky is in the building, man. Shout out to Blue Sky for definitely jumping in and tapping in right here in the chat. My guy, Jamal Titus, is in the building, man. Lambo Drew in the house. Happy Thursday, Leverage Show family. Thank you for stopping in, Jamal Titus, man, and showing some love. Truly appreciate you, brother. Blue Sky is showing love to Lady Johnson. QDP says, please hit that like button. Yes, let's please hit that like button. You guys know what time it is. Blue Sky saying, Mr. Deloach, man, put the sevens in for the chat and for the general. It's in the building, man. Y'all know what time it is. Champ is in the building. Shout out to man, Champ, man. Showing love right out here, man. My baby showing love to Blue Sky. Blue Sky showing love to Money. QDP showing love, man. Blue Sky showing love to QDP. QDP showing love to Blue Sky. Blue Sky showing love to Champ. Blue Sky showing love to JT. JC showing love to Blue Sky. My people, Misfit Enterprises is in there. Hey there, everybody. Peace and blessings to you all this evening. Shout out to you, Misfit Enterprises, and peace and blessings to you as well. Hello, Misfit Enterprises. Happy Thursday. QDP showing love. QDP showing love to Mr. Titus. Misfit showing love to QDP. Jamal Titus says, good evening, everyone. Good QDP, man. I love, love, love that, man. Uh, Misfit Enterprises, man. My wife showing love to her. Jamal Titus and Team Crafting. Love, love, love that. Mighty E showing love to Mighty E. Mr. DeLose, Team Crafting. Jamal and all the rest of them, man. Loving to see that, man. You know what time it is and stuff like that, man, in the building, man. Misfit, man. Uh, Enterprises, good evening, man. Shout out to you. Cutie Pete, man, showing love. Hey, man, Blue Sky with the wonderful hands, man. Shout out to your Blue Sky, man. Cutie Pete, man, says, come on now. Shout out to you, Cutie Pete. That's what we're here for. From bitter to better, let's go. You already know. I already have the book. Hey, shout out to you again. Go get it. Eight ways to ten times better by my guy, Rashid Hill. I'm trying to tell you this right now. This will help bless and change your life. Uh, you guys know. And the other uh, quotes that I was actually According from was a 10x rule by Grant Cardone, none other than Grant Cardone. So those two right there, I'm telling to you, because our shit is killing the game, man. Fro saying a big hello, man. Shout out to you, QDP, man. Saying welcome, Fro. Shout out to you, man. Fro saying thank you. I love that. Love that. Love that, man. Blue Sky showing love to Fro in the building. Hi, Blue Sky. Love it, love it, love it, man. My cuz is in the building. Shout out to you, cuz, man. Thank you for definitely tapping in, man, all the way, man, down there in the boot, man. Showing love. I'm inspired because, man, truly appreciate you. That's what we're here to be about, man, to go ahead and continue to keep doing what we do, man, out here and showing love. Appreciate that, cuz. Coach Rashid, I knew he had to be in the building. Much love for my brother Lambo Drew. I'm running so, so late today. I got these kids. Oh, goodness. But I'm here. Hopefully, everyone is doing well today. We are, Coach, man. Coach, we truly appreciate you. Today and everything, man, I'm trying to tell you all this right now. I was inspired by Coach in this book to be able to do this and really come talk to you guys about this and some strategies and hear some of the excerpts in this book. That's why I can't wait for you to go get yours because it blessed my life to be able to know that this is where we're at in helping you guys move forward. By any means necessary. Coach, make sure you guys go like and subscribe, man, to my coach, my guy, Coach's channel, man, as well. Uh, get into this group. He's doing some amazing things, man, and really, really, really showing you how to lead and lead as a general and as a leader out in this space. I'm trying to tell you what I know. Truly an amazing man. I couldn't go ahead and say any more about this. Eight ways to be 10 times better, man. Look, let's go. You guys go get your book by Coach Rashid Hill today. Definitely go like and subscribe, man, to his YouTube channel. I think it's still Rashid Next Level. It may be Rashid CEO now. He made it and changed it up on me. Uh, if it's Rashid CEO, then it's no longer Rashid Next Level, which I thought it was still Rashid Next Level. Maybe it's Rashid CEO. So shout out to Coach for changing the game up, man. Not like that, man, uh, for all of us out here. Yes, the scripture in front of Steve Harvey's uh, is 117, man. James 1 to 17. Also, it's his birthday, yup. Uh, 117 January 117, which is also my wife's birthday. They both share the same birthdays, her and Steve Harvey. So shout out and everything to her. Well, our birthday. Yes, it's definitely y'all birthday together as well. So shout out to you for that. Greetings, Mrs. Johnson, man. Showing love, man, for Coach, man. That's our partner in crime. You know she loves Coach, man. And, and just the wonderful things, man, that we are here to go ahead and do and be a part of, man. Uh, my, my baby says, that was a great surprise, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, I had to surprise you and take you to go see Tyler Perry because that truly blessed and helped and changed my life 
to be able to see it, but I definitely wanted you to go see it, Princess. So daddy, so love you. You already know it. Greetings to all the awesome people on the call that, sh that show up. Be inspired. Yes, man. Appreciate y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't even know that this blesses me even more when we actually see that. My baby says, hey, coach, showing love to coach, man. Cutie P, hey, coach Rashid, let's go. You already know, man. I love that man. Cuz say confirmation clause. Hey, hopefully it was confirmation, whatever it was, man. We are here on the Lever Show to make sure you guys are going into that next level by any means necessary. Thank you for that. Uh, Kai, Kai Pai says, hi, Mr. Coach. Showing love and everything, man. Coach C says, hello there. <laughs> LOL, no real police in here. Yes, we're talking about that time when Coach had me and everything, man, and my family uh, out there, man, on the stakeout, man, on a Sunday in San Diego, man. Darius is in the building. Shout out to my guy, Darius. Thank you for tapping on. What's up, Lambo? Happy Thursday, man. Really appreciate you and all that you do, Darius. You already know. Thank you for stopping in and showing love, man. Coach says, man, and Lambo made it happen at the Core 4 event in D.C. Yes, this is the picture at that Core 4 event. That's on his uh, his Facebook page. Shout out to Coach for really getting in there, dropping knowledge, and really bringing the togetherness with the team. It was amazing to really be out there with him and really show some love. Thank you for that, Coach. Good times with Lambo and Mr. Johnson in D.C. The best of memories. Yes, if you guys miss it, you guys miss it. Don't miss the next one because I do think they're running it back the end of June, June 28th through June 30th, so you guys – Want to definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, Coach she says, so true. A real friend, a real brother, a true leader, a mentor, Lambo Drew. Nothing but love for your brother. Man, look, nothing but love for you, Coach, man. I am here, man, to make sure that we are doing this thing together and moving in unison into the next phase and next chapter, brother, together. So really appreciate you, man. And uh, Coach No Man. I speak about Steve Harvey at the bottom of page 44. Oh, I read that in Mastery. Uh, it's funny that you said that. That was in uh, Mastery that I read that. That was in that same page. And I got a chance to share that in Mastery. And you guys know I stopped in Mastery of reading that. And it just read out the fifth, six, seven, and eight chapters. So you guys can go ahead and get the book. Uh, but I read all excerpts from one chapter one all the way through mastery and you guys definitely need to get that so yeah definitely and uh great minds think alike right coach man shout out to you for that man my guy big tip follow man says man this is a good great no this is my good friend coach rashid my good brother man coach rashid hill eight ways to be 10 times better man by coach rashid hill go get your book today i'm trying to tell y'all this right now this will help bless your life and he said oh i see it now yep 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 that's where it was my baby said yes coach great times in dc it was a joke about the well. Yes, it was. It definitely was a joke about the well. Lambo is not going to let you guys get away from that well joke. We ain't, we ain't lighting up off of that well joke. You already know, man. You was in D.C. It's on. Yes, you have, brother, 10 times better, and we see it. You inspire it from all of us. Man, appreciate you, Coach, man. Really, truly, really do thank you for that, man. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to continuously to keep making sure that we keep the flame lit and keep inspiring and empowering by any means necessary. Uh, coach with the wonderful 100 man and a wonderful fire. You already know. Blue Sky, man, showing love to Coach Rashid, man. Coach Rashid showing love to Blue Sky. Love it, man. Coaches with the LOLs, man, and the geekly faces, man. All that cutie paid, man, for laughing and everything, man, too. Thank you for that. Two different YouTube channels. Good. So, Coach Rashid, next level. There we go. Make sure you guys go like and subscribe to Coach Rashid, next level, man. This is Coach Rashid Next Level. Make sure you guys go like and subscribe to this channel today, man, and let him change and bless your life. Jump into the groups. Jump into the Zoom calls. Jump into all the great things, man, that Coach is actually doing and really making an impact out here on. I'm telling you, it will help bless you and change your life more than what you know, and that's what we are here for. I'm trying to tell you, man, I am my brother's keeper, man. And I definitely know, man, it is that time of the year, man. So I know coaches should be about to get his grub on, man, in just a little minute uh, from right about now. You already know what time it is, man. Listen, I really want to thank you guys, each and every single one of you. I told y'all I really wanted to at least provide over 90 minutes, man, a wonderful, great content that you guys can go check out and help empower and uplift your life. 
Can I tell you something, man? And I really want to tell something to you, all of you before I let you go tonight. Don't let anything or don't let nobody, don't let them disturb your peace. This is how it is. Just like the shirt. Do not disturb. Always blessed. Highly favored, man. You see that? You have to be and keeping people on. Do not disturb. Should have your peace. Do not disturb. Right next to it. And whatever it is, when you have do not disturb on your vision or your goal or your dream, and then have a do not disturb right next to it because you are working towards your goal, working towards a better you so that you can go ahead and be the most productive you to make this world a better place. I'm rooting for you. Coach Rashid Hill, my guy, Coach Next Rashid Next Level is rooting for you. My guy also, Grant Cardone, is definitely going to put some great content out there who is rooting for you as well. And we are rooting for you to win. You just need to trust, double down, and believe on yourself. Listen, make sure you guys are sharing this content. Get this content out to somebody, to anybody who may need it, because I'm trying to tell you this right now. It will definitely help change your life and bless you more than what you know. Listen, I love you guys. I thank you guys. Oh, QDP says nice shirt. Thank you, QDP, for that. Appreciate you for that. Left Definitely. I, I owe it all to my wife. My wife is definitely one. Like I said, make sure she keeps this gear rolling. Make sure you guys definitely go on ahead. Get the book today, Eight Ways to Be Ten Times Better, by my guy, Coach Rashid Hill. This will help definitely change your life. And you can go ahead and catch up on those chapters that you may have missed that I actually mentioned, those four ones. I say, hey, you definitely want to go ahead, man, and get a hold of this so you can read the rest of the book. Lambo's job is just to introduce you to that and tell you about some amazing content in the book that you may not have in your library or it may not even be applying to today. He was able to give this to me. We were down in Atlanta uh, last summer. So shout out to Coach for giving me a special book. And he already know, man, I'm going to always represent my brother and making sure that we continuously to keep pushing him higher and pushing the brand higher. Love your brand. Love everybody, man. Love you guys. Again, you guys stay focused. You guys stay blessed. Stay in the zone and locked in. Because guess what, man? I just gave you ways to 10X your habits in your life. I see you guys, man, in your victory. I see you in your goals. I see you in your dreams. I see you on the other side of that thing that has been blocking you. I love you guys, man. Make sure you guys have an amazing, great day. I will see you guys, man, tomorrow, man, for uh, Finance Fridays Live. So don't you guys go ahead and miss it. We're going to talk about some things and then get ready and geared up for the next week. That is definitely going to be powerful, definitely going to be impactful, and definitely going to be something that you do not want to miss. See you guys tomorrow, Finance Friday Live, 12 noon Eastern. Your boy, Lambo Drew. I'm out. Later, y'all.